All right, guys, this is Mobile Gamer Nerd, and we are back with God's Raid. Uh, we did a start over now. I did a video before just to kind of give a, you know an idea of what the game's about and you know all the things that you can do. So we just started the game. We finished. We started yesterday at like 12 o'clock at night because I was about to go to bed, and I just started the game and whatever. So I got a new set of heroes, and we got new poles, and yeah, some good stuff. Now, I, don't, I did say it before, but if you go into this section down here, we'll start it right now up here. And you go into news, all right, and you go to event. You can click on this, the coupon code, see? And you can type in the coupon code. I already did it. It's caps lock all for you. And you will get 10 summons. So that's cool. It's a nice little code. They put it out there for you guys. So you can, when you're doing the reset, if you're trying to get different heroes, you can just keep putting this in every time you restart, but you have to come up with new names. It's a little annoying. But you do that. And you get 10 more summons, so you can get 20 summons plus the first 10 from beating Chapter 1, and you'll have plenty of summons to get you through and start getting some heroes. Now, I did some resets, and we got some heroes, and I'm kind of excited for the heroes we have right now. So here's what we're using in the new playthrough. Let's check them out. So we've got Giant Armor. He is a epic hero. He's demon. We put him in Surter. Cert whatever his name is, that god, because he lights himself on fire and does damage, which is kind of cool for a tank, so I did it anyway, and we said, why not? We've got Orc Warrior. We ended up pulling him. We put him in Poseidon, because that gives him the extra 25% Orc attack, which is kind of nice. We also got this guy as our legendary undead skeleton summoner. Kind of cool. He summons skeletons. It almost makes it not needed to have Hela, but we got Hela, so we put, her, put him on there, and that gives him the extra HP. And it gives him attack 16%, which is kind of nice. We also are using this guy, who I'm kind of curious on, Ancient Wizard. He's pretty badass. We put him with Ares for right now. It doesn't really help him, but we're going to find one eventually that really works with him to give him a little more attack. But it does give him, I think, crit rate. Yeah, crit damage, crit rate. So 16% extra crit rate. But he's got a cool, he's got an interesting skill. And it shoots 10 magic missiles, dealing damage equal to 45% of attack to random enemies, and it deals two times damage to enemies with barrier. So that's kind of cool, and it does a lot of damage. So I'm actually considering building him. I do like him a lot. And then we are using the priest, just because we didn't have a healer, we're looking to get someone else. So I didn't use her, and I, I kind of stopped using Power Fist. So that's where I'm at right now. Power Fist is still really good. I'm still considering her putting her in the team. But this is the team we're using right now. So let's go into campaign and see where we're at. We literally just started. We got some stuff. Actually, I'll, you know, let's touch base on some stuff first. So heroes. We got everybody to one star. All right. So my whole team is one star now. And that was the first thing you have to do. So you, you wait until you get to the point where you finish the first chapter. You'll get a bunch of potions beating chapter one and two. I don't think I need to do an explanation on how to beat chapter one and two. They're all very easy. And I didn't see any issues getting to chapter two, three star, uh, even on my other accounts that I started just to give them a to like try the game out and see what I wanted to do. And chapter three is when I started seeing some trouble. All right. And that's when we started getting, you know, hurt. So we did get a bunch of gear. So we put all the gear that we have on our heroes. So we have some rare stuff. I think we put the best gear on my tanks just because I want them to stay alive. And then I used Skeleton Summer, Summoner as my third best. So I put the gear on him and then moving into Magician and then the Priest. So Priest has no nothing right now. Nothing. Now we can transcend her. So we are going to... Actually, no. Do I want to do that? No. We don't want to transcend her yet because I don't know if I want to keep her. She is cool, but she's not amazing. I want to try and do this with some of the lower end heroes because I found out from playing before that the legendary heroes and the you know, the really strong gods, they take a lot of experience to level, like way more than your re your regular ones. So you're going to want to try and not go too crazy on these guys because it may end up holding you back. All right, so I'm going to focus mostly on these guys and maybe even replace him. I don't know yet. Just for now, until we start getting a little bit better and further along because these the legendaries really do take a long time. So we're going to see how it goes, but for right now, we're keeping them in our team. We're going to use them, level them, whatever. But I don't really want to have a full team of legendaries because they just they just take up so many resources right now, and it's bad. So we're going to go in here and fight, just so you can kind of see how this team functions. You basically have your knight guy on fire, so he does damage to anyone in his proximity. And then you've got the skeleton summoner guy who summons little skeletons. Oh, it looks like we're at a little bit of a lag there. Here we go. Sorry, I just reloaded the game again today, so it's it might have a little lag on the beginning, but now it should be fine. So we do have the healer who can do the healing. We're on auto right now. We're going to do full auto just to see how it functions. I don't know if they're going to do really well or not, but so far they've been doing pretty good. They've been healing. 
It's funny because I noticed, look at this, here you go. He does 10 hits, that little missile guy. He's doing crazy stuff. Now, the orc guy, the orc warrior, he does this jump. Look at that. He bounces around to the enemies and just wrecks them, which is kind of cool, which is honestly why I switched from him, I mean, from Power Fist to him, because he really is good. Now, we have a bunch of skeletons everywhere because we have the skeleton summoner and we have Hela, and now we have Ares doing his attack up, and now he's going to start bouncing around. Look at that. Boom, 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 smacking people up, and everyone's dead. Look at that. Boom. All of them dead. Now, if you're having trouble, like I did the first time through this game, I basically would use Poseidon right at the last second on the final boss so that I had a shield so that none of my heroes would die. All right, now basically we're just going to keep going through campaign and see how far we can get and see what we can do to kind of make our team better so that we don't have to worry about dying in here. So we're going to battle in here. We're going to do, we're not going to do the full auto this time. I want to not do that because it actually does, oops, not manual. We want auto. We want our heroes to use their skills. Now, there are a few heroes that I saw that were pretty cool that I would like to get again. There's a healing. The legendary hero is really good. Uh, there's like that little, the little priest girl. She's really good. There are a couple of other heroes that are pretty nasty too. So what I usually do in the higher end areas is when we get to this area, I'll use Ares, which I actually got, luckily. Uh, if you didn't get them yet, you'll get them soon enough. I mean, you're going to get most of these gods pretty quickly throughout the run-through, but if you get Ares, that's even that's like the best one to get. Boom. You got your attack up, everyone gets extra attack, and then you just wipe the whole team. Boom. Look at that. And then he's going to bounce on him. He's dead. So this is going into Chapter 3. You're really going to want DPS heroes who are really strong, and I made the mistake of using too many defensive-type heroes and it actually ended up hurting me because it was hard to beat things. I also didn't understand how the talents worked. Like, see how we have this? Extra attack, 5%. I didn't understand how that works. That basically works that if you put two or three of, like, human in or undead or whatever it is you put in, then this pops up, this little flag. And it ba basically what it does is it gives you more attack. So if I add another human healer or human attacker, like if I say I take Skeleton Summoner out and put another human in, I'll have three humans on my team, and I get a big bonus. I get like 11% attack. So depending on who we pull, like say here, if I take her out and put her here. Oops, I didn't want to do that. There we go. Switch these two. So let's just say I take her out, and then I put the priest here again. See? Now we have a bunch of bonuses. All right? So now we have attack plus 11%. All right? And if I add another thing, I think we get HP after that. So just realize that you are going to want to start kind of looking at separate uh, factions to kind of do things. However, in the beginning, I would just use your best heroes. So there you go. Battle. That was your lesson on awesome things that come with little flags on your team. Now, this team seems to be functioning a lot better than my previous team. I had the skeleton tank. I forgot his name. The Wraith, whatever his name is. I had him. He is a really good tank. I, I even said in the last video, I don't know if he was worth resetting for, but he was pretty cool. I don't love this little summoner guy yet. He seems to be pretty good. I don't think he's bad, but I would much rather have had the healer or probably the paladin tank, I think, are the two that I would probably push for, unless you really want a lot of damage. But honestly, you can get a ton of damage from the... Um, I'm not even paying attention. There you go. You can get a ton of damage from even just epics and rares in the beginning. I mean, my, my other team literally was just epics i had one rare right i had the the beast girl and then i had that was it yeah it was all epics and then the one the one legendary tank that was it so we didn't need it we can get tons of damage there's definitely some rares in here that i'm looking at that i do really like like a lot so there's the there's an orc mage that's kind of cool who does damage, who's not going to be useful in the beginning probably. He does damage based on max HP and I think later on he's going to turn into something really good. We also would like to find someone who does defense down. The epic uh, electric guy that I showed in the last video, yeah, he's pretty cool too. But so far this team is functioning well. We are going to have to re-gear and get some stuff on these guys to make them last longer, but so far they've been doing pretty good at attack. I, I basically have to find more of a balance of damage versus defense because my other team was very defensive and they were having a lot of trouble with beating certain bosses so now i'm figuring out how the, the bonuses work so we know we want to try to get factions together all right preferably i think in the beginning maybe like because you're going to need there's different bonuses from different factions all over the place so maybe like two different factions 
would be where I would probably sit later on just because you want to have the bonuses for both factions on your team and having that extra 11% attack on both factions would be great. And then I would say probably whatever faction you have that has defense, I would make try to bring in a third one for that faction because then your tanks will have 11% more HP. So like there's little things. Now you can do a full, you know, you want to do all orcs, you want to do all human, you can do that. That's fine, but just know that your god selection is going to be a little limited early on, so I probably wouldn't do that. I would say just not even that it's limited, it just means you're not going to you're not going to benefit from any bonuses is really what's going to happen. So now see how he's doing a lot of damage. Now we're going to do the attack up first in the second round. We're getting to that point where we're starting to lose a little bit of ground. And then we'll try to do the, the little shield thing here as soon as it pops up. Boom, there we go. So right when we're getting a little bit of damage, we'll pop in and then kill everybody. And now they're going to go crazy, and hopefully we can get Hella. But I think they're going to kill him way before that. So this is going way quicker and better than it was last time. Actually, we probably will use him. There we go. Actually, I, I could have used Ares and just killed him in three seconds. We've gotten a couple different heroes. I restarted probably about six times last night just because I wanted to see, I wanted to get at least a reasonable set of heroes. I didn't get a healer that I wanted, but I was like, you know what? I'm just going to stick with what I got. And that's it. So who do we got? We got this guy. He's the orc guy I was talking about. He does eight damage based on HP. So kind of cool. But I definitely want to build up this little mage guy because I feel like he's going to be a really good damage dealer for bosses, especially when they have their stupid shields. All right. So this, am I in the right spot? Stage six? Yeah, we are in the right spot. We're going to just keep going. Actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to level my boy up because I really do like him. I feel like he's better than most of the other ones that I have. It just sucks because human doesn't have a lot of gods that are pretty cool. You know, they just... I haven't found one, at least, that works really well. The only ones you can use are like the lower-end versions. So we're going to level him up. I bought everything from the shop, so I did get these potions. So we're going to try and get him to 20, I think. Oop, and then one of these. There we go. Level him up. I want to get him built because he is... I think he is going to be a really good damage dealer when, once we do it. Ascendance. All right, we can use this and this. And there we go. He's going to be a two-star. Boom. And he'll be easy to awaken, which is nice too. So level up. All right, let's just throw a couple of potions in him. We'll get him to maybe level 10. Because it's part of the quest later anyway. There we go, 10. So he's got a he got a nice little damage boost there. There we go, 4,000. And he got a training slot. Um, we're going to upgrade his training right now. Because maybe we'll get an extra skill damage. Look, he's got four trainings already. But that's because we were able to level him fast. You see what I mean? You can use way more potions on him and get tons of levels. Granted, it's not better for later, but like, yeah, it's going to get you through the beginning of the game. And the beginning of this game is a little rough until you start unlocking stuff. All right, so we unlocked all that crap. We're good to go. Now we can train. So boom, we're going to train Mr. Ancient Wizard. So now we get Vitality. Ooh, that's... All right, so I, normally I would pick Attack, but this is way too good to not take. <laughs> he now has a ton of attack, which will help him. I mean, HP, which will help him against the uh, would be assassins that like people like to use. So now, hopefully, we can get one of his skills. I want to get his skill. Basic. This is his basic skill. So that just raises it ten percent. We don't care about that evasion HP. No, we're going to stick with evasion. See if that works, and then get him in one more skill. Boom. Hopefully we can get it. Damn it, they're not giving it to me. So crit rate, we got critical neglect skill, crit resistance. I mean, whatever, sure. Whatever. We're giving him survivability. I would really have liked to have gotten one of his skills leveled up to more damage, but you know what? It is what it is. So that's where we're at. We got that done. Let's get out of here, and we'll go in here. Now that we have a newly revamped hero, you're going to want to do that every couple levels. Just get another hero built up. And then eventually you get to the point where you have no more, you have no more uh, vials, which sucks, but whatever. But he, the blue heroes are the easiest ones to level for the quests. So you kind of have to decide whether or not you want to spend more time finishing a quest, or if you just want to use rares to kind of, you know, just kind of bolster your team with rares for now. We're going to do attack up to bolster your team just to get through things a little bit easier. All right, so now we are going to wait for Poseidon. To get our shield. There's actually a god Anubis who gives everyone a shield on a four turn cooldown, but it doesn't attack everybody. So that's an option also if you really want to do that. They are really doing look at that, dude. He was just pummeling that guy. I like that. Does this show damage results? I'm curious. Are there battles? Here we go. Battle statistics right here. Yeah, shut up. There we go. Battle statistics. 
All right, so who did damage? So the god did the most damage with him, but he did a lot of damage. So yeah, he did 25,000 by himself. So just his damage alone is 25,000. That was not bad. Granted, he's no, you know, he's two star, whatever, and he's got he doesn't have any talents though. They all sucked. <laughs> it's like no talent. All right, let's just keep moving. Going in. We're gonna go into stage three and stage seven. And this is what I did. I mean, I literally just kind of played through. I don't think I think you're gonna get stuck at a couple spots on normal mode if you've been playing this game. Uh I can take that off so it doesn't do the stupid god thing. I keep forgetting. Uh you can get through normal pretty easily as long as you're just leveling and building heroes normally i don't think it's going to super matter which ones you get the gods kind of help a lot like i have all the ones that i would want at this point so i definitely don't think there's anyone i wouldn't want uh we can probably just heal everyone up i don't need to waste but yeah i mean Ares is really good. Hell, Hella, you all get. Poseidon, you all get. So really, Ares is the one that's really good. Cert is, you know, reasonably enough. He's reasonable enough, but he's one of the lower end ones. Him and I think Vidar are both useful. One for the tank. Well, both for tanks, if you want. So either one works. Uh, we're going to do attack up so we can get some damage going here. We did level up Ares a little bit because we want to get more damage out of our, our team. Once you start unlocking divinities, you're going to want to build up his skill pretty quickly because you can get your attack up to like 175 or 200% if you're like really focused on Ares. We get out of here because that's what his skill does. It just increases attack. We are going to get another hero. Hopefully we get Vidar. I don't know if I have him yet. I don't think I do. Yeah, because we're like I said, we literally just started last night on this on this account. So this is the beginning, just so everyone can kind of understand what you're dealing with when you play this game. The, the starting stages shouldn't be too bad. You need to get into hard mode in order to unlock a lot of things. I think by stage three, I want to say, stage three of hard mode, you start to unlock most of the things you need. The tower is very important because you get a bunch of heroes from doing that. And the other thing that's important is fusions. Fusions will help you get a lot of really good heroes right off the bat. You can get some legendaries and epics pretty quickly because you can just fuse a bunch of heroes together from all the tower. Uh, from all the free stones you get in the tower. And that will get you uh, at least a few epics and, and legendaries, possibly, that will help you out in your journey if you're trying to get more more legendaries. So don't think, so just because you didn't get, say, you know, a certain legendary. Look at this, we're already getting our butt handed to us a lot. Let's get some attack power. Can I get my, I want to get my attack up. There's a lot going on right now. I have like a bunch of skeletons. Look at this. Who is this? Oh, that's the Wraith. So that was a tough one. There we go. See, every every uh, area is going to get a little harder, and eventually you're going to get to the point where you can only beat things with like two stars. It's fine. Do not get do not get worked up over how many stars you have. The stages just need to be beat so you can get the rewards. That's all that matters. Don't worry about anything else. Right? We just want the potions. We want to be able to level our heroes up, and we want to be able to get gear. That's it. Nothing else matters. Stars don't matter. I'm just getting lucky right now and getting a bunch of stars. That's probably going to end. Probably either at the end of this chapter or in chapter four. So we're going to have to do another another build. And your gold is going to go fast. So be careful when you start using it because you, you want to make sure you're using it on things that matter. Don't waste it on stuff that doesn't matter. We're going to do attack up. Get these guys killed quickly, hopefully. A little 100% attack increase. Kills the tanks a lot quicker so you can get to those back round heroes before they start doing what he just did. All that crap. So now we're going to hopefully get our shield. Here we go. Poseidon popping it off, doing tons of damage, and taking names. I just see like all those little missiles popping off. It's kind of cool. All right, who do we want? We want hell, or do we want attack up? I think we want attack up. Because no one looks like they're dying. The only reason to use hell, honestly, is if you're really struggling with a back row. That's the only reason that the skeletons work really well, and we have the skeleton guy who summons, so it's not really important. There we go. More more stuff to level our heroes. We actually have a bunch of quests we've probably finished already. We should probably go back and check them. Let me see. All right, so we are on stage 10 now. We're going to just try and beat it. Let's just see. It doesn't look like it's going to be too bad. I think my team as of right now is pretty well you know, synergized with the stuff they got going on. So I think they should be able to handle it. We've got healing. We've got some shields. We've got attack up. We've got skeletons. We've got extra adds. I think one of the other ones we got the Monkey King on the uh, when we were playing, and I didn't. I don't. I just don't like him. I don't know why we're gonna do attack up. We're gonna do just like the regular stuff. 
We're going to do it regularly and kill everything as fast as possible. Hopefully, Orc guy starts pouncing on people. He did not. All right, so now we got to do... Come on, don't kill anyone. Don't kill anyone before I get it. There we go. Come on. Come on. Don't die. There we go. Got it. So now everything's going to die, and now we're going to wait for our attack up, because we need to kill this guy by the time a minute hits. That's the way it works. And if he's a tank, it actually works out, because I have that guy who does the shield thing, my little wizard man, and he will kick butt. So there we go. We got to attack up. My tank is getting his ass handed to him, so he's dead. All right, so there's a lot going on. Oh, I didn't see all these skeletons back there. What is happening right now? There's a lot going on there. See? I guess we do have to level. So here we go. Let's get our skeletons out. So it looks like this is going to be a one star. Because we're not beating this quickly. All right, do this. Hopefully that's enough. Where are all these ads coming from? Are those from the other? Is he doing that? He might be doing that. Hey, I don't think we're beating this one. Yep, we're going to have to level. See, that's what I'm saying. It could just change in three seconds. That's all it takes. Three seconds and everything changes. So now we've got more skeletons. Boom. Actually, we beat it. Nope. Oh, he did a heal. That son of a... Here, attack up. Kill him. Kill this stupid knight. Just attack the knight once. Like, how hard is this? <laughs> oh, my God. Literally. Stupid ass. All right, so let's get out of here. We'll just level up and we'll beat him. That's actually not a hard fight. It was just stupid. I'm supposed to be leveling. That's why I said we should probably check our, our stats. All right, let's get out of here. Leave. Yeah, I don't care. Shut up. There we go. Get out of here. All right, let's go get some leveling. Here we go. We got more gear. What do we get out of this? We got one piece of helmet. We're going to put it on our tank. We're going to take all of our quests because we definitely got a lot. Let's see. So we got some energy. We're going to get some gems. We're getting a special weapon, I think, right? What did this give us? All right, so we got boots. I think this game has given me a ton of boots. Reach Ascendance. Tier one. All right, so we got to do a three heroes. So this is where I'm saying you got to follow the quest. So hero. So we need to hit level ten now. So we're gonna level him up to ten. You can just hold this, by the way. I think. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Done. Level up. Boom. More quests. All right. So who else do we have to level? We want to level orc boy. So we're gonna get him up. Hold this down. Get to level ten. There we go. One, two, done. Level up. Now, they also can get some training slots, which is kind of nice, but I don't have any training manuals because I just use them all. Hopefully, they unlock that area soon. So, here we go. We got some more stuff. Are we going to get a summon is the question because that's really what we want. We want summons in the, in the early game because we want to get as many pieces as possible. We also want as many of these potions as possible so we can level up the freaking gods as well. All right, reach Ascendance level 10 with five heroes. See, this is what I'm saying. We're supposed to be a lot stronger than we are when we fought that guy, so... I'm not surprised. All right, so he's 10, he's 10, he's 10. She's going to be 10. So we're going to level him up. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. We'll use all those for this. And then we will get him up to 10. There you go. Mr. Mr. Skeleton Mage just gained 1,000 power, so that's good. You do get a lot from doing this, by the way. Like a lot of power, so it's crazy. All right. I think I might actually transcend her because she actually is pretty cool. So there we go, level up. I think it's one of the quests to transcend anyway, so we'll do a transcendence. Sure, 20,000. Confirm. She's worth it. Is it worth it? Gives her a little bit more HP, so that's kind of good. So she'll do more, more stuff. Uh, anyone else can do anything transcendence-wise? Nope, nope, nope. So we don't have any transcendence. So now we're going to just make sure everybody has gear. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to do some gear stuff. So there we go. He's got gear. We're going to hopefully get a new no recommended. We'll put stuff on him so he stays alive and does more damage. And then the same with this guy. He's now got some more gear. And then this guy. So now she's got a boot. Everyone's got a boot. And we got some more quests done. Let's get out of here. This is all you got to do. is Just keep going back and forth between the quests and the campaign until you unlock stuff. Because say you're not, now we get more gems. We get more pieces to upgrade. We get plenty of stuff. So now we got to clear normal 10. So say this is now we're up to that level. So they told us to do all that stuff. And we do get free stuff in here too. So don't ignore all this stuff. Battle pass, boom, you get stuff here. We get gems, some summons, things like that. And then in here, you get achievements, which you can also get summons from. This is the progress one right here. And then we've got etc. So we can get this. And we're going to get some gear upgrading stones, which is kind of nice. And I think that was everything, right? Now we can summon our one hero. Here we go. Boom, right there. Let's see if we get anything good. Probably not. 
Nope, we got garbage. Gabbage in, garbage out. Uh, do we have any God Fusion stuff? I don't think so. No, we didn't. All right, let's go back into campaign and see if we can beat this jerk. Battle it up. Now we are much stronger. I could have leveled up a God too. I just didn't. But this is why I said, like, sometimes leveling up the, the legendary is a little bit harsh because it does take a lot more potions as you just saw. All right, so now we're on auto. Let's see how much better they do here. I think we're going to try and see if we can just kind of do this without getting the attack up here. I don't want to I don't want to waste it cuz then we can do attack up right after the shield. I mean right after we use this. Say so we can do this, clear them out, <clears throat> and then hopefully wait for the attack up like this. So now my whole team's alive. Like I said, I think I I think I wasn't paying attention last time and I should have done it this way. But look at that. Boom. All that death. He's dead. Look at that. Much easier. But this is why I said it. the game seems hard, but it's not. Like, it's not as hard as it is. All right, let me rephrase that. <clears throat> it is hard. It's just not as hard as people think it is. Because <laughs> you can just move through. And just follow the quest. Like, do follow the quest. If you're doing that, you're good. If you ended up pulling a bunch of legendaries and you have no, um, so like, uh, what is it, potions and gold, well, then you probably screwed up. So there we go. Who do we got? I always root for revenge. So we got Tisphone. Uh, what does she do? Enchanted hero increases twenty percent every time. Yeah, we don't want we don't want gods where people die because the whole point is to get stuff. So now we got unlocked a clan, and we get three hundred gems for doing that if we do it. So here we go. We got more books, so that's good. Now we can unlock some stuff. I can get some more talents on my heroes. Let's close that, and then we're working towards getting this Poseidon here. That's the main thing. We want Poseidon. I'm gonna close this. Claim our little summon. Boom. And this is basically what you're going to be doing, honestly, all the way through. Here we go. We got more gear. This is a full set. This is, one of these was like a set, I think. No, it was just a helmet. Uh, reach Ascendance tier level 20 with three heroes. So we got to get to level 20 now with three heroes. So that's a tough one. That's why I said the blue ones are hard, are, are better because you can get a lot, a lot more blue heroes leveled quickly than you can these freaking uh, epics. Now, what I would probably do in this specific... Oh, we got more battle stop. Oh, that's right, we beat Chapter 3. So here we go. We got 50 gems. So we do get a lot of gems, and we get... Like, I'm already at 3,000. And I did use gems, I think, at one point to do something like on my previous accounts. Here, I haven't really touched it too much. This hasn't been too exciting. All right, so we have to unlock our stuff. So we need to do training. So what I think we're going to do is we know we want to train somebody... I really want him to get that extra skill. This is a bad idea, but I'm doing it anyway. A freaking basic skill. I don't want any of this. <laughs> uh, cancel this. I don't want that. Uh, crit resist and increase hero's attack speed by 2%. I mean, that's... Honestly, that's trash. I don't. I, I, I hope there's a way to redo these because they all suck. We're just going to do this basic attack. Confirm it. We'll get 10% attack on his basic attack. Can I redo it? Or can I remove one? How's that? Training effect. What does that do? Enhanced stats. Oh, this actually tells you what it does. Wow, you can get 1,200 attack. Look at that. This is actually kind of cool. I want this. <laughs> like, I want the gold. All right, so now if you reset training, does that mean you have to redo the whole thing? Let me see. Okay, so this costs 100. Reset training effect obtained from training. You can save certain training effect cards so basically okay so this is how it's going to work that's cool so everyone that you save is basically a hundred more gems so this is why you shouldn't be wasting your gems on summoning by the way so it looks like this is going to be something that is going to be fun what does this do save cards okay so all right well either way i wouldn't waste my time with that until later on because you never know when you're going to get something that you like so don't really matter. All right, so let's do some training on these guys. We definitely want him training. Because actually, I do like him a lot. All right, so we got critical skill. We got increased attack speed. I mean, at this point, I would just probably go with attack speed. I would rather have crit rate, but we got attack speed, so it's good enough. I want higher version ones. And we are going to level up Poseidon because he is just that good. And then we are also going to upgrade... What's his name? Register all. Actually, no, we're not going to do that yet because... I want to wait. We don't have enough. So him, we're going to level up Ares, because Ares is very important. How far does he go? 12? Ooh, that's a tough one. That's a, lot, that's a tough one. 
I don't know if I want to do that yet. Maybe we'll just get a couple levels on these for now because I don't want to go too crazy. We'll just do. We'll, we'll get. We'll use ten of these. There we go. Ten. Good enough. We'll get them a couple levels. It's a little more power. It's all that matters, right? We just want some more power and some experience. Um, sir, we can probably get honestly to one star. I don't know if. Yeah, I do have. Four, we do have extra sirs, so they're good. Register all. Level up. Confirm. I do want him, and I want. There's a. I think it's Scathy. She does. She does. Uh, what's it called? Freezing around you, and then Sir does fire around you as your passive. So basically, you can have a fire and ice tank up front that are just constantly doing damage, and that's kind of what I want to do. <laughs> All right, so we've got a one star version of Sir now, and we're good there. So I think as of right now, this is kind of just where it's at. It's a really great game so far. I mean, just so you can kind of see what you're going to be doing in the game to kind of fix your heroes and make them better and improve them. There's talents. You're starting to see some of the gem aspect of it. Gold is very tough to come by. Uh, I have 359, but once you get into hard mode and you start leveling gear and doing a bunch of other stuff, yeah, you are going to be basically at zero gold almost every single minute of the day until you start playing a little more and getting further along. So yes that's basically it for today if you guys have any questions or anything you want to talk about about this game it is really cool and there's a lot of cool heroes a lot of fun to be had here so i definitely i'm going to keep going with it uh my little beard mage guy is awesome i can't wait to max him out and see how good he is because i i'm there's a lot of rares in here that i like better than the other ones like the epics in this game are kind of whatever so far i think plague the plague doctor guy is pretty cool um punchy fist is okay this orc guy is pretty cool that tank is okay and there's a couple of other ones that I had that were pretty nifty, but mostly a lot of the rares are kind of cool. The legendaries, I think, are mostly awesome. But and then the epic, I mean the mystical ones are pretty cool too. But yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Leave a comment. And as always, like, share, subscribe. It's great for the channel. I'd like to see you guys uh sharing all of this content with everyone. Let everyone know that God's raid is here and it's really fun. And it's something to keep you distracted from other games. <laughs> all right, guys. This is God's Raid, the beginning. This is Mobile Gamer Nerd, and you guys take care.